of what seemed to be gastric flu 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 his illness passed after a few days 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 but a stranger set of symptoms lingered 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 although his muscles and joints remained healthy 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 waterman was unable to move 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 in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down in fact he was unable to feel anything from the neck down a neurological condition in which certain signal 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 a neurological condition in which certain signals from the nervous system are interrupted or impaired 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 without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving 
without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving, without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving, without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving, without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving, without his body's constant feedback on how his limbs were moving, Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. Waterman was unable to sit up, stand, or walk. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance. But over time, he taught himself to use sight to judge the distance of his limbs from other objects and 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 eventually he regained complete control of his body and eventually he regained complete control of his body and eventually he regained complete control of his body and eventually he regained complete control of his body and eventually he regained complete control of his body and eventually he regained complete control of his body and eventually he regained complete control of his body and eventually he regained complete control of his body and eventually he regained complete control of his body and eventually he regained complete control of his body so long as he could see it 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 we often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement we often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement we often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement we often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement. We often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement. We often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement. We often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement. We often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement. We often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement. We often don't think of touch as being a vital part of movement. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. But touch is just one part of the somatosensory system. A network 
that oversees all the sensations, a network that oversees all the sensations, a network that oversees all the sensations, a network that oversees all the sensations, a network that oversees all the sensations, a network that oversees all the sensations, a network that oversees all the sensations, a network that oversees all the sensations, a network that oversees all the sensations, a network that oversees all the sensations arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, arising from the surface and interior of our bodies, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system, also known as proprioception, are regulated by this system. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. And when something goes wrong, the effects can be dramatic. Embedded in our skin, muscles, tendons, and organs. 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 Mechanoreceptors sense mechanical deformation of the skin. 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 This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. This could be triggered by low or high frequency vibrations. A stretch or simply light static pressure. A stretch or simply light static pressure. A stretch 
or simply light static pressure. A stretch or simply light static pressure. A stretch or simply light static pressure. A stretch or simply light static pressure. A stretch or simply light static pressure. A stretch or simply light static pressure. A stretch or simply light static pressure. A stretch or simply light static pressure. Thermoreceptors respond to temperature changes. 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 While nociceptors sense pain. 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 And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. And proprioceptors sit deep in your muscles and tendons. Continually detecting and relaying information. 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 Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. Your brain then combines this information with other sensory data. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. To move through space without needing to see your limbs. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. And the speed of those signals varies with the fiber's thickness. For example, 
Some nociceptors are attached to fibers. For example, some nociceptors are attached to fibers. For example, some nociceptors are attached to fibers. For example, some nociceptors are attached to fibers. For example, some nociceptors are attached to fibers. For example, some nociceptors are attached to fibers. For example, some nociceptors are attached to fibers. For example, some nociceptors are attached to fibers. For example, some nociceptors are attached to fibers. For example, some nociceptors are attached to fibers with slightly more conductive fatty myelin than others. 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 So when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, so when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, so when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, so when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, so when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, so when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, so when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, so when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, so when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, so when you get hurt, the electrical impulses from thicker nociceptors, trigger sharp, intense pain, 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 trigger sharp, intense pain trigger sharp intense pain trigger sharp intense pain trigger sharp intense pain trigger sharp intense pain while thin unmyelinated nociceptors are responsible 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 for the dull aching pain that follows 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 and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker and since the fibers carrying tactile information are much thicker than those carrying nociceptive signals or 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 than those carrying nociceptive signals than those carrying nociceptive signals or 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 than those carrying nociceptive signals rubbing an injury can produce temporary relief from the pain rubbing an injury can produce temporary relief from the pain rubbing an injury 
can produce temporary relief from the pain. Rubbing an injury can produce temporary relief from the pain. Rubbing an injury can produce temporary relief from the pain. Rubbing an injury can produce temporary relief from the pain. Rubbing an injury can produce temporary relief from the pain. Rubbing an injury can produce temporary relief from the pain. Rubbing an injury can produce temporary relief from the pain. Rubbing an injury can produce temporary relief from the pain. These receptors generate a constant flood of signals. 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 These receptors generate a constant flood of signals that travel through the nervous system to the brain. That travel through the nervous system to the brain. That travel through the nervous system to the brain. That travel through the nervous system to the brain. That travel through the nervous system to the brain. That travel through the nervous system to the brain. That travel through the nervous system to the brain. That travel through the nervous system to the brain. That travel through the nervous system to the brain. That travel through the nervous system to the brain. But if this process is disrupted, 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 either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain, either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain, either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain, either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain, either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain, either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain, either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain, either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain, either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain, either by damage to the skin, the nerves, or the brain. And since it underpins so many bodily functions, 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 and since it underpins so many bodily functions. In Waterman's case, an autoimmune reaction. 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 In Waterman's case, an autoimmune reaction attacked a large swath of his nervous system. 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 Leaving him with no tactile or proprioceptive sensations. 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 
leaving him with no tactile or proprioceptive sensations, 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 and the impact of this loss can be significant. And the impact of this loss can be significant. And the impact of this loss can be significant. And the impact of this loss can be significant. And the impact of this loss can be significant. And the impact of this loss can be significant. And the impact of this loss can be significant. And the impact of this loss can be significant. And the impact of this loss can be significant. And the impact of this loss can be significant. Losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength losing tactile sensations makes it difficult to gauge how much strength without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli without the warning signals provided by thermal and pain stimuli. We don't react when our bodies are damaged. 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 And being deprived of social touch can cause a condition. And being deprived of social touch can cause a condition. And being deprived of social touch can cause a condition. And being deprived of social touch can cause a condition. And being deprived of social touch can cause a condition. And being deprived of social touch can cause a condition and being deprived of social touch can cause a condition and being deprived of social touch can cause a condition and being deprived of social touch can cause a condition and being deprived of social touch can cause a condition known as touch starvation 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 high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system high blood pressure and even a weakened immune system but it's undeniable that all these invisible sensations, 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 
but it's undeniable that all these invisible sensations 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 even if they can be difficult to put your finger on even if they can be difficult to put your finger on even if they can be difficult to put your finger on even if they can be difficult to put your finger on even if they can be difficult to put your finger on even if they can be difficult to put your finger on even if they can be difficult to put your finger on even if they can be difficult to put your finger on even if they can be difficult to put your finger on even if they can be difficult to put your finger on